Welcome, citizen, to another StarCraft Nation broadcast. I'm your host, Venerati, and today I'm going to be casting uh, two, actually, from Rukyu Kiwiwaki. Ugh, can't speak. Nah. All right, and he's going to be going up against Haas Hay in this one. So we are going to see a PVT. And two, I don't know why I can't speak right now. But uh, we are on Lost Temple, and this game, I, I chose this game because it is a little haywire. It's pretty... It's pretty quick, but, I mean, obviously you can tell by the duration, but um, it's pretty brutal. So this is really going to uh, showcase a lot of uh, how things can really turn on you and, um, unfortunately, not really work out in your best interest. So what do we got going on here? Uh, Haz Hay is going to be, of course, throwing down Supply Depot. Unfortunately, now you had to build Supply Depots before you build Barracks. Kind of sad whenever I ran them into Terran. It's uh, definitely not the best uh, feeling. But... Um, actually, Rude Kiwiaki, Kiwiaki is going to be throwing his gateway in the back, which is uh, kind of odd. I don't know if it's going to be some sort of anti-drop tactics or something like that to make sure you can't uh, drop it in here and run in, probably, or it could be habit from going up against Zerg players. Um, but, you know, hey, whatever, it doesn't really matter. You don't really have to wall off against the Terran. In fact, it's kind of a negative thing to wall off against Terran because they can snipe these front buildings. Uh, right now we do actually have uh, Haas Hay scouting out the situation. We'll be poking around, and we do have, of course, a barracks on the way. We do have a refinery. And so everything's pretty normal right now, except for the, uh, for the not even really that odd, but just the different placement uh, by Rukibiyaki Kibiyaki here. And we do have the Cybernetics Core coming down. Of course, the Cybernetics Core, the first step really for your, uh, for your major tech tree uh, branching. Of course, you do have to build the gateway first. But it's the uh, Cybernex Core that really starts to open the doors, open the imagination and possibilities. Uh, now this actually, here is where things start to kind of diverge. Haas Hay is building a proxy barracks in the high yield. So definitely looking to put early pressure on. We have two Marines queued up. One Marine just finishing up right there. We'll be moving out. Going ahead, throwing down that second supply depot as he's just about to supply lock himself here. Now, uh, posting this uh, Marine up here on this ramp, making sure that no probes can get by to scout out and see what's going on. Because at this point, if you're really just sitting on one barracks and not even getting the orbital command yet, as we do actually see it right there uh, finishing up, it's kind of dishy. So you definitely don't want your, uh, your enemy to be able to do that. Now we do see the probe coming out here for uh, Kibiyaki. He will be trying to scout out, and of course... These two Marines will be easily able to dispatch it. Of course, uh, Kiwiaki able to pull it back in time. These Marines will not be able to chase it down. We do see the Tech Lab finishing up here for the barracks right there. Of course, this barracks does not have anything. We'll just be pumping out uh, Marines. Uh, the Zelnaga Tower will be occupied by Root Kiwiaki. And so right now, Haas Hay will be um, actually discovered here because of the... Uh, well, let's see. I do believe that actually discovered him. Oh, no. It's just out of the edge. So... Uh, Kiwiaki does not know that that is there right now. So right now we do actually have one Stalker coming up here. Of course, the Marauder popping up will be giving away the position. We have three SCVs. Look like they will be joining the fray, trying to uh, act as, of course, a fodder squad. We have this one uh, SCV just kind of sitting there. So the probe will be going down right there. We do have one Marauder and four Marines along with these three SCVs. will be moving up here. We definitely want to see these SCVs up front. Now, uh, Kiwiaki is aware of what's going on. And we'll be uh, trying to... Well, actually, I'm not really sure if he is where... Oh, there we go. He finally started to pull the stalkers off. He does actually pull some probes off of the uh, mineral line. So trying to use these guys as a fighter squad as well. But uh, Haas Hay will be focus firing these units. We have one SCV trying to chase down that stalker. So trying to get in there with one bunker. Trying to go down. Haas Hay, of course, retreating, seeing that that's not really going to work as um, his Marines definitely got sliced and diced right there. That one rider not really getting any kills... And this one bear is kind of out in the open, kind of in danger right now, as it does have one uh, one rotter finishing up there. Will he? No, he will be intercepted by these stalkers. So now we have a return force of six stalkers. We'll be coming up against Hase, and Hase is going to be in a lot of trouble right here, as we do have one SCB throwing himself at these stalkers. This one rotter being the really only threat to the stalkers will be focus fired by Ruki Uyaki. And Kiyaki really sitting pretty right now, as these Marines will be mopped up by these stalkers. Only one Marine right now in this bunker, so not a lot of DPS threat. Uh, Kiwiaki, of course, with three stalkers, will just be moving on by and saying, see ya, and we'll be moving into the heart of the main of Haas Hay, and Haas Hay really doesn't have anything to respond with this, 
as his other barracks is completely locked down. And yes, as we actually see him GG out of there. So that was a really quick game. Um, it shows you know a, a prevailing uh, factor we've seen a lot lately is some early pressure from Terran trying to throw a bunker down in the main of the opponent. Even seeing this in, against the Protoss, but uh, just not able. To, he did, he only had two racks. He didn't have three racks. I feel that if he had a third rack, it really would have been a lot more uh, trouble for Kibiaki as he and. and would have had more Marauders and uh, pulled a few more SCVs off. You know, there's a lot of what-ifs going on there, but we just saw how if you're going to do that early pressure, you've got to put a lot more effort in, almost all in, because if it doesn't work, it's going to come back to bite you in the butt like we just saw right here. And uh, Kiwi Yaki, of course, coming out on top. So, guys, uh, thank you for joining me. There will be another game coming from uh, Root Kiwi Yaki. Now, this is a very epic game. If there's any game I really want you all to watch, from me in the near future, it's going to be this game as he will be going up against uh, a Zerg player. I cannot remember. My memory is gone, but it's definitely going to be worth it. Uh, so, guys, please watch that one. It's, you're not going to be disappointed. So, as always, citizens, stay safe.